Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Picks. Today we are going to construct a flat pattern of elbow in Autodesk in a sheet metal. So let's get started. Here go to new, take a standard part in millimeter, go to create, take a 2D sketch, select the front plane, the XY plane, here go to circle command, from the center point, make a circle of diameter 2000. Enter, zoom out, go to line command and make a line till the center and make one horizontal line. Escape, select all the profiles, take here construction. So these profiles will be changed to construction. Take line command and make a horizontal line here. Make one line like this, one line like this and one line like this. Escape. Go to vertical constraint. Make this line vertical and escape. Go to equal constraint. Select this and select this. Go to dimension. Define this as 300. Okay. Now go to tangent constraint. Select this line. Select this curve profile. Okay. Now go to equal constraint. Select this line and select this line. Now this is fully constrained. Finish sketch. Now here I want a pipe profile. So I would need a diameter. So go to 2D sketch. Here select the exit plane. <coughs> go to home view. Here go to project geometry and project this endpoint. Select this. Take circle command, from this center point, make circle of diameter 600, enter. Now here, finish sketch, take here sweep. So this profile is selected, select the path here. Now here is the point, the output it will ask you if you want solid or in surface. So I'll click on surface, so this will generate a surface profile. Press OK. Now you can see a hollow surface profile is being generated. Rotate the view. <coughs> this is hollow, you can see. Now here go to origin. Select XY plane again. Go to create sketch. Here take the circle command. From this center point, make circle of diameter 1800. Enter. And finish sketch. Go to extrude. This profile is selected, take dimension 1 mm and here take symmetric and click on surface profile, press ok, ok, now here go to boundary patch, select this extrude, so this boundary will be created here of weight 0.5 mm, press apply, rotate the profile. Now select this side, ok, select this edge, same, weight 0.5 and ok. Now rotate again, now I want to join the, both the patch, so I will go here, stitch, select this, rotate the profile and select this, press apply. You can see a maximum gap of 1 mm will be shown and done. Ok, rotate. Now I want to trim this 1 mm from this complete surface. So I will go to trim command. Select this. Ok. And rotate the profile. Now here you can see a patch profile. So it will ask you the profiles to be removed. So I will select this gap. Ok and press ok. Now you can see a cutout is being created here. Now select stitch surface 1, right click, turn off the visibility, select extrude, right click, turn off the visibility, only this profile will be left. Ok. Now I want to change it in solid profile, so I will click on thicken. Select this, 
and give a thickness of 2 mm apply select this 2 mm thickness apply select this apply and select this apply exit don't give thickness at once or it will become a same profile okay we want to distribute all these profiles separate now here we don't want this sweep select this right click and turn off the visibility okay now this solid body is left you can see the cutout clearly this is to open the sheet okay <coughs> now here go to manage and here i want to make an assembly so i'll click make components first it will ask you to save the layout i'll click on yes and here i'll make a new folder okay double click this save okay now it will ask you to save the components select this select this this and this now you can see it has selected four different solids otherwise it will select only one solid next and okay okay now new window now you can see it is having four parts one second part third part and fourth part and you can see this is a assembly okay i'll double click this so it will open the first part now i'll click on convert to sheet metal select this part and here i'll give a dimension of 2 and uh, you have to type mm okay and press okay so it will convert it into sheet metal of thickness 2 mm now I'll click on create flat pattern so it will generate a flat pattern of this part okay now go to the folded part now you are unable to see the part so you'll just click on home so you can see the part separately okay so this part will be saved like this if you exit class to save yes and okay similarly select this double click convert to sheet metal select this component uncheck this 2 mm thickness and press ok create flat pattern flat pattern is generated go to the folded part press home this part is here ok save exit double click this convert to sheet metal select part thickness of 2 mm press ok create flat pattern this is also created folded part home and exit save it double click convert to sheet metal select the component thickness of 2 mm and ok create flat pattern flat pattern is generated go to the folded part home this will be the part exit and save ok so this will be the final assembly with all the four parts ok you can change the appearance ok you can take the library or here itself you can change it from here as it is in part form that was in assembly <clears throat> so I have taken here the blue color blue wall paint glossy you can take any color go to 3d model and home so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a flat pattern of elbow in Autodesk in a sheet metal I hope you like the video if you do that please do it like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank